first alert weather. We're still on target to see snow for Thanksgiving, and it looks like it's going to be a fairly significant storm across eastern Idaho and western Wyoming. Pretty quiet conditions tonight through tomorrow, so if you're traveling here or expecting company to come into town, travel shouldn't be too much of an issue unless you're going to the upper parts of Idaho, getting up to the Panhandle and parts of Montana here for tomorrow afternoon and evening. Tomorrow night, this storm works down in here from the north, and it looks like it's going to be a significant punch. 36 right now in Idaho Falls with winds at 6 miles an hour. Pocatello Farm Bureau Sky Cam at 34 degrees. Winds out of the east at 6 miles an hour. And then we move it over into areas like Jackson with 37. Winds out of the east at 5. Salmon also seeing some chilly temperatures right now. A clear sky at 39 degrees and winds out of the northwest at 8 miles an hour. So the ridge of high pressure that's been with us here for today, it's going to continue for a bit of tomorrow, but we're pushing down on that ridge of high pressure and we're opening up the door here for stormy conditions conditions to get in starting Wednesday night into Thursday. A core of low pressure coming out of Canada is going to sweep in here from the north and it's going to get right overhead here as we get into Thursday and Friday. For Thursday morning, we start to see the snow wrapping around this area of low pressure and we bring in some accumulating snow just to get us started for Thursday morning. Then the low gets overhead for Thursday night and Friday and we're going to have wraparound snow coming in from the east as we go into Friday and that's going to be also another significant punch of snow and gusty winds as we're right under that core of low pressure. As a result, we're currently under a winter weather advisory. Now this is from the mountains to the valleys. Currently the National Weather Service saying anywhere from two to five inches for portions of the Snake River Plain and that's again for the entire day total there for Thanksgiving and we have a winter storm watch for the mountains of western Wyoming. Most likely we'll start to see more winter storm warnings as we get closer to that storm arrival. As we go into the Viper cast tonight again clear cold and quiet for the overnight hours. Tomorrow morning, it's going to be beautiful if you're traveling along the interstate corridor here out towards Boise or getting to Salt Lake City. Going north to Montana, you start to see snow midday up towards places like Missoula and Kalispell and Great Falls. Then about 3, 4 o'clock, we start to see some snow trickling through portions of central Idaho and the Snake Highlands. Snow starting to get down in here for Wednesday night into Thursday. We have the snow settling on in here, off and on here all day on Thursday, and we get the snow coming in from the east Thursday night. This is where it looks like it could get pretty interesting with the accumulation. So that's where I'm worried right now is when we start getting into Thursday night, we get the snow coming in from the east working back into the Snake River Plain and the models are indicating that that could be a significant accumulation of snow as we go into Thursday night and early Friday morning. Friday morning, the snow is going to be focused more towards Salt Lake and then getting into Wyoming and then we start to clear out slowly working into the weekend. Snowfall amounts at this point, we're in that one to two inch range, but then look here, Pocatello, Burley and Twin and even into Soda Springs. That's going to be the where the more significant snowfall looks like it's going to hit also to Jackson about two to four inches. And again, that's going to be coming in throughout the day on Thursday, especially for Thursday night. Also to note, uh, winds are pretty light here for tonight and tomorrow, but once we get into Thursday, we have to talk about blowing and drifting snow and you can see those gusty conditions really starting to crank up around five o'clock in the evening. So we have sunny and cold conditions for Wednesday, snow for Thanksgiving and Friday and then so and windy. It's also going to be quite windy for Thursday and Friday. A high of 47 for Montpelier, 45 for Malat and Preston tomorrow with 42 in Lava Hot Springs. Lows down to the 20s tonight. 45 for Driggs, 45 in Jackson, 48 in Swan Valley with temperatures there into the 30s for this weekend in Jackson. We get the lower 30s here for Friday, Saturday and Sunday. Sunday. It's going to get pretty cold once we get on the other side of the storm system and we have those single digit lows also coming along for the ride. Rexburg, a high of 38 for Thursday, 33 for Friday with some chances of snow Friday morning. Cold for the weekend with highs into the 20s. Moving into central Idaho, temperatures here for salmon at 48 degrees, 49 for Chalice, 39 in Arco. Salmon, your eight day forecast. You got highs here into the 30s this weekend with overnight lows getting down to the single digit range for Saturday night and Sunday morning. But we have rain and snow working through salmon, especially for Thursday. We get to Idaho Falls, the high of 44, 48 in Pocatello, 44 for Rigby, and 48 towards American Falls tomorrow. We're down to the 30s for Thanksgiving with gusty winds going into Friday morning for Blackfoot. Highs will be in the 20s this Saturday and Sunday with a high of 26 for Saturday afternoon. Pocatello will be about 39 for Thursday. Then we're in the upper 20s for Saturday and Sunday and it's going to be cold and pretty quiet next week with Idaho Falls seeing a high of 37 for Thursday and then check out those lows as we get into next week. Single digit lows getting close to zero and highs stuck in the 20s for Saturday afternoon. Todd over to you.
Okay, Michael, thank you.